this Frenchman's Buckeye. Bye. Kylan went and grabbed him and we've got him tied here to the trailer. Um, this horse has actually had some time off. When he came into us, he had um, kind of long front feet, so we went ahead and got those shod. And the last um, time the farrier came, he did a fantastic job, and this horse's feet look incredible. He's a very sound horse. His feet are not giving him any trouble. It was just more of a, he had been turned out for a while, and because of that, he had some cracks in his hooves, but they are definitely definitely better so again this is Frenchman's Buckeye and he is selling in the May 28th or the 27th I'll have to look um, Billings Livestock Auction so if you go to Billings the catalog should be out and you guys can look up Jacob Thompson I think we have five consignments and Frenchman's Buckeye here is one of them This is a super nice horse, you guys. He has never given us any problems. He is well started on the barrels and the poles. He is ready to start hauling. So if you're looking for something that is potentially going to be a high school rodeo prospect or something that you can take to college and finish, this is a great horse. Or if you're an older lady and you're looking for a really nice laid back um, prospect that you can haul with your older horse and really start exhibitioning and seasoning this is going to be the perfect horse for you because he is um, high loping the barrels and the poles and he is ready to start hauling to the events Again, you guys, this is Frenchman's Buckeye, and they're going to go by in the tractor here so you can see that if you do start hauling him, he is not a spooky, crazy horse. He's not, um, he's not a horse that has a lot of vices. He's actually pretty unproblematic all the way around. He just got, an, um, he just got a Revita EQ gastric snack, and of course, we like to give the CEP gut check, so we're going to give him a little gut check. So what we like is to show you guys that you can do everything. If you want to pick his feet up, we can do that now. That way when you back him out of the trailer, you can go on in the barn. This horse is also really good with his feet. And again, he did have some minor um, cracks in those feet. And we did get the farrier to take care of him. We just got some shoes on him. Um, before we got him, he was just turned out for a little while. He'd been in professional barrel horse training. An older lady owned him. She decided she really didn't want to run barrels, didn't really have time for him. So she turned him out, and it, it just ended up being to where she decided she wasn't going to get back into taking um, horses to the barrel races and things like that. So... His feet look great. This is Frenchman's Buckeye, and he is selling in the Billings, Montana livestock sale this May. I think the sale is the 27th and 28th.
what we like for you guys to see is that these horses will get in this trailer and even though this horse has never been hauled in my trailer before I mean he's having to step up and kind of put his butt in there that this isn't a horse that will kick you this isn't a horse that gets um, you know upset or he might be too big to fit in there is he too big make him step up I've had a couple horses that What we want to show you guys is, is if you get in the trailer with these horses, they're not going to get you in a bind. There are some horses that are trailer sensitive or trailer sour. Here, just go ahead and shut it from here and just push him. I think he'll push over. Yep. There he goes. He's good. Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> there he goes. He is a little bit big. Our biggest thing is, is to make sure you guys know that you can get in and out of these trailers with these horses safely. So if you're older or you're a novice or if you have kids running around with you, I want you guys to see that these are horses that get in the trailer. Even right there, we weren't sure if he fit. He never tried to rush out of the trailer backwards. He's got good trailering manners. Another thing I like is to show that when we open these petitions and we go to untie them, a lot of people will say, whoa, 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 you have to untie the horse before you open the gate. These are horses that you can come in here, open this gate, walk up and untie them, and um, he's not trying to run out backwards. Like, he's not trying to rush out of here. So he does allow you the freedom to go up there and untie his head before he runs backwards. That way, he's not running over the top of you. All right, you guys, we're having a star party on the Tara Michelle Sanders page, so please send stars. We need lots of stars, you guys. Tylan's just going to still make him back out, but he's going to turn him so that his butt is in a little bit better place. Again, you guys can see here that this is a horse that... Go ahead, just back him over that mat. This horse has definitely showed us that even with him getting the mat over his back legs, he doesn't kick, he doesn't rush. He's got great trailer manners. He gets in and out of here really good. He's got lots of patience. Very nice. Very nice. He comes out nice and easy. Good job. Good job, Edmund. So Edmund is going to go back in the barn into his stall, and then we will grab Pepper. And uh, But this is just something to me that's really important, that these horses have good trailering manners, that they have good ground manners that they are horses. If you want to walk him the same way we walk those, just buy everything. That way they can see he's not jumpy or spooky. And again, this horse is just a really good example of a nice, quiet, laid back, easy, easy going guy. We really love Edmund, and he is finished in the barrels and the poles and ready to haul. Um, I think he can get faster with hauling and some experience, but he is good enough through the barrels and poles that you could go tomorrow and pay money and enter him, and he makes a really nice pattern, you guys. All right, you guys, let's send stars so we can move on to Pepper here. We're going to do him next, so if you guys don't mind, let's get this star party out of the way. We need about um, 1,300 stars. So please send stars, you guys. And if you'll walk down there and get it, I'll walk down and grab a sheet. As you guys can see, Pepper is fantastic. He meets you at the gate, puts his head in the halter for you. He is such a good horse. Hi, two crows. All right, let's get him his sheet off of the rack here. I have more than that. Where are they? There we go. They're underneath here. Hey, pepperoni. Let's look for sizes. Seventy eight is a little big for pepper. Seventy-eight. 
Oh, that's something too hanging here. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Size is this one. This one is a. All right, you guys, send stars. Seventy-four. Okay. All right, you guys, send stars. That way, we cannot break our star streak on this page. All right, you guys, we have fifteen hundred stars. Let's see if we can't get a little more. There you go. All right, you guys, I'd like to end this video and move on to the next one. It's getting hot. Sorry, that's okay, Joan. Well, I didn't know we were having a star party, so I don't really know. Sometimes I wonder if people don't just say like star party because they think that's a, like a fun thing for us. <laughs> but I did not see the star party on my end. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this and we will go live with Pepper. Bye, you guys.